Our next guest started acting when she was four. She played an 11-year-old when she was 13. She turned 15 in March, which I think, I don't know, makes her like 105 years old. I don't know. Her new movie is called Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. It opens in theaters Friday. Please welcome Abby Ryder Fortson. <laughs> You came out here fast, too. I almost, you almost surprised me. Oh, sorry, I'm a fast walker. <laughs> you are a fast. Are you a fast walker? Yes, I am. My entire family has to try to speed to catch up with me. Is that true? Yeah. So on walks, when we take our dog for walks, it's always me in the front with the dog, dad in the middle, or maybe in the back sometimes, and Josh is just trailing behind us, my little brother. He's like 10. Uh, he'll, he'll always just be trailing behind us, just hanging out, watching as I speed away with the dog, and I don't even notice that everyone else is just... You have a fa you must have me. like a greyhound or something. You have a fast uh, dog. I have a lab husky shepherd retriever Newfoundland boxer mix. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's a rescue. So. <laughs> Yeah, and what, you were able to analyze him and find yeah, out that we got, we got one of those DNA tests. Oh, you did. Yeah, those were super. Those are super cool. Yeah, yeah, they are cool. You know, you can do them on humans too. Yeah. <laughs> I found out that I was uh, half Italian and half Pomeranian. Oh, that's, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know, and now I know you're 15 years old, right? Yeah. Did you know about this book from, uh, I mean, so this book, when I was a kid, was a bi very big deal. Yeah. You didn't know about it, did so you? So I would, I'm a super avid reader. I've, I've read, I've been reading since I was pretty much old enough to walk. My parents have been reading to me. But for some reason, Judy Blum and I just missed each other, I guess. I was, like, super into sci-fi and fantasy when I was younger. Yeah. So I, I, I never read Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret until I got the audition to play Margaret in the movie. <laughs> Did you tell Judy Blume this? Have you met Judy Blume? Yes, I have met Judy Blume. She was on set for a good couple of weeks. But wow, how old is Judy Blume now? I want to say 84. Four? Okay. All right. I don't know. I I don't I don't try to make a habit of looking up people's ages. When you ages. walk with her, is she fast <laughs> enough? Is she? Um, no. I think I think I have to slow down a little bit for her. <laughs> did she? Um, so she was there. Or did she like? I don't know. Did she have tips? Did she weigh in on what you guys were doing? So the biggest thing that I think her note was when we were on set is that we. When we were rehearsing one of the scenes where all of the girls start doing the I must increase our bust little exercise, her biggest oh, note. Yeah, right. yeah, remember that? You Guys, know, remember weirdly, that? I remember that from like Laverne and Shirley or something. Yeah. So right. her biggest we must, thing. We must, we must yeah. increase our bust, the right? Little, yeah. the little song, a little song and dance. Um, the, her biggest note was that when we, while we were rehearsing, Kelly, the way that she had always envisioned it, was you would clasp your hands and do, I must. I must, I must increase your bust. Uh, so that's how she envisioned it. But apparently, according to Judy, the way that she and her friends used to do it was always more like, I must, I must, I must increase my bust. It was done in a more lighthearted way. <laughs> yeah, in a more lighthearted way, you know. Really works those arm muscles, though. Wow. After doing it for about four months with hundreds of takes each, you know, you really, I got some biceps. Uh-huh, yeah. It's really good, yeah. <laughs> Did you really do hundreds of takes of that? Yeah, I mean, if you combined every single scene that we had to do that in, and then uh, plus all of the different camera angles and all that, yeah, probably. Someone should count that up, honestly. Yeah, See you know, Guillermo, would you mind counting that up? Get, um... <laughs> <laughs> Have you... <laughs> You said you like sci-fi and stuff. Like, how, how you said you read a lot. How many books would you read in, like, I don't know, a year or something? Um, 365? I don't know. Oh, you read a book every day? I, I try to, honestly. Every I, day you read a whole book? I read really, really fast. I, I think oh, you I, walk fast, you read yeah, fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm a very high-speed person, and Have I, you ever thought of slowing down a little? See, I'm trying to save that for when I get a little older. You know, there's, there'll be time to slow down eventually. I'll, I'll buy a nice home, relax with a couple of cats, all of my plants that I've named, and I refer to them as my children, and I've kept, like, about 15 alive, you know. You, All the good stuff. You have plants now, or this yes. is what you're envisioning for yourself? Oh, no, I have yourself. tons of plants in my room. Oh, you yeah. do? I, I steal them from other people in the house, and I keep them alive because they always kill them. So it's like a jungle in your bedroom. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. And you've been acting since you were a little kid. Yeah. Since and you, did you love it immediately? Honestly, yeah. I, I remember when 
So my parents are both actors. They're right over there. Oh, your parents are actors. Yes. Okay. They're All both, right. This is what you learned to read. Yes. I got my parents. Yes. Did you know they were going to be here? Uh, yes, I did. did. We, okay. we discussed it beforehand. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so they're both actors, and they used to take me to their auditions with them, and I would sit on the producer's couch, and I'd just watch them. And one day when I was, I think about, like, three and a half or something, I just turned to them, and I was like, I want to do this now. Please get me an audition. I want to be an actor. You know, so... it's funny. I was just looking at your parents. <laughs> I think they were probably too young for this when this book came out even. <laughs> So when you're on the set, the movie's set in the 70s, right? Yes. Does everything seem weird to you, like the 70s stuff, the props and decorations and all that stuff? Actually, no. I'm a huge, like, vintage person. I have I have vinyls, records, everything like that. And I, it, it is really, really cool to be on a 70s set, though, because it's like stepping into a time machine every single day you're on set. It's so, it's so like amazing. Like, what objects in particular jumped out at you? See, my favorite... I have to say my favorite is actually a rotary phone because really? here's the thing when you in nowadays y'all got your cell phone and when you when you're really mad at someone and you really just want to hang up on them pressing that end call button just doesn't make the same clank you're clank right. you know it's just not right. the same and i you're... practiced a couple times on the set we had um, on the phone that we had on set it was really fun <laughs> you know? I, I i i would love to say that i miss it but i wasn't alive there. Yeah, no, yeah, you missed it is what happened. Yeah, you yeah. missed it entirely. But it also, it was no fun. Eh, eh, eh. And somebody had a lot of eights in their number. It's like you were exhausted by the end of it. It really was. So, But you write the slamming down. Yeah. I quit. Yeah, now it's like, I quit. <laughs> Have you seen the movie in a theater with an audience yet? I've seen the film four times, and then at the premiere, that's when that's the first time I saw it with a really big audience, um, and it was it was so so cool. I mean, just just sitting in a theater and having everyone laugh at the exact same moment, and you know, cry, and we're all experiencing something together. That's the magic about movies. Your parents honestly. saw it. Yes, they did. My mother started sobbing three minutes in. It was it, we weren't even past the opening titles yet, and she was just sitting there, bawling, crying. She's like, "Oh my God, my daughter's movie." Um, she had already seen it three times at that point. And she was but, still you know, crying. Yeah, but crying. it's you know you could well I me guess you couldn't understand that because you're 15 years old and you think your plants are your children. But <laughs> one day maybe you'll be in a movie theater and you'll look up and you'll see your fern up on. Uh, the screen. You'll it? see your, like, a rhododendron, perhaps, and you'll be like, oh, it's my sweet little sapling. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, congratulations. I have a feeling this is going to be a big deal. My cousin Mickey is like, this is like a big book from her life, and she went and saw the movie and said, you guys really uh, did Judy Bloom justice. And I know Aww. Judy waited a long, like she was, she never let anybody, I think Betty White wanted to play this role that you're playing. <laughs> That's how long they've been waiting to make this movie. <laughs> So anyway, congratulations. The movie is called Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. It opens in theaters Friday. Abby Ryder, Fortson, everybody. Thank you, Abby. We'll be back with New West.